what is going on guys it is i go for broke and today i'm here to show you guys how to install the new version of well not new version but a new way to play marvel versus capcom 2 god damn i was stuttering right there marvel versus capcom 2 marvel versus capcom 2 and i know we got so many ways now we got playstation 3 we got xbox 360 no dc and flycast on flycase now obviously we have what a one up arcade arcade one up i don't know whatever that if you guys want to dump six hundred dollars be my guest but i would never dump six hundred dollars for a piece of shit listen guys six hundred dollars buy yourself a, a laptop a, a doable laptop for six hundred dollars and make it and, and, and run it on the emulator it will you will enjoy it and a plus i don't even know if they even have their online working but anyways uh guys again uh i'm gonna show you guys how to install it and this is gonna be quick raw non-edit i'm not gonna go through the whole fancy shebang and put little details so hopefully you guys are following um and let me make sure my settings are right over here so capture this all right anyways so all the links are going to be available on the descriptions so go ahead and click on them to make sure you have them up and running so the first thing we're going to do is going to be downloading the file all right now before we download the file go ahead and go ahead and make yourself a folder on your desktop or wherever you have your games located in this case i mine is in a downloads folder and i named the playstation 3 emulator once you download the file you're gonna get a, a little once you go you know here and you click download you're gonna get a zip folder right it's right here this is the little zip folder i'm gonna right click on it and extract here then you're gonna get all these files in all those folders the next thing you're gonna do is gonna um before i even click on this i'm gonna make sure i have all the files downloaded so the next thing I'm going to go is make sure I have the ROMs and you want to download the US trial and then the unlock key for USA. Once that is downloaded, uh, you put them, I put them in this folder called games. Again, they're going to be in a zip file, so I extract them. So the only files you're going to see should be, I believe is this run right here this and then the purchase this one is a custom mix and i'll show you guys how to do that in a few minutes so the first thing you want to do is once that is downloaded and you have all this again if you guys want to get mixes i'll ha also have the link so you guys can download your favorite mix and you at nobody has to run the same mix you guys can have your own mixes that's the beauty about the playstation on no DC there, you both have to have the same file and, and, and ROM play. So once that's downloaded, the next step is to download it, the Sony update for PlayStation 3. So you're gonna scroll to the bottom. So obviously I'm already at the bottom. You're gonna scroll to the bottom. You're gonna click this little button that says reinstall using your computer. You're gonna download it and again you're gonna put that into your folder i have mine here under the playstation 3 emulator folder and it's right there ps3 update now the once uh the software is installed or if you haven't installed it yet you're gonna click this little application it's gonna you know get you all the settings on how to run it since i already have it running let's go ahead and close it out and there's like gonna be a little pop up before this launches so just go ahead and click ignore quick launch tutorial and all that nonsense that it may pop up and now what you want to do is this is going to be empty the first thing you want to do is go to file install firmware and you want to do the ps3 update first once that's done the next thing you want to do is go to games and I like to put it side by side like this. And you're going to cl left click on this file right here. It should be about 200 megabytes. You're going to left click on it and hold on to it. You're going to get a white sheet of paper looking like this. 
basically it's going to say copy. You dump it in there. It's going to say, do you want to install this package? You're going to click yes. All right. Boop, 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 boop. It does all that for you. It's successfully installed. Click OK. And then once you've done that, now before you can do anything else, you want to go and install packages, wraps, and EDATs. Now you want to do your license. So you want to make sure, again, find that folder that you installed or downloaded to. And you're going to click this uh, NBC2 purchase. You're going to click open. At the bottom, you're going to see successfully copy the file. Boom. This unlocks the game. Now you, you can you can play this without the trial version. So now that you have that downloaded and installed and up and running, the next step is we're going to go to configure. And everything should stay the same. Guys, don't... Uh, I'm not too familiar with this, so I, I left it as it is. GPU, depending on the GPU, some may run Vulkan. Some of you guys may have to use OpenGL. I don't know what this, I mean, disable, I guess is you're going to disable your graphic card uh, settings. And everything else stays the same. I, I changed mine from 16.9 to 4.3 because obviously it's Marvel 2. If you have any other games, you can switch it back to 16 by 9 ratio. Everything stays the same, such as your frame limits, auto, anti, and yep, everything stays the same. The default resolution is going to be set to 720, but I changed my 1920 by 1080. Resolution scale, I left this as it is. I did up, upgrade it to, you know, I, I changed it to 1920 by 1080, but the problem was when I launched the game, the sprite was looking a little, basically like Game Boy. So if you guys are okay with that, then be my guest. Or it, it may, may work. Again, everybody's computer's different. Um, then you leave everything else as it is. V-Sync. Mine was disabled. You can check mark it if you're having issues with your game tearing. Audio stays the same. I.O. Again, you can mess with it if you guys are good with this. System stays the same. Network. It's going to be selected to disconnected. This is also going to say disconnected. What you want to do is change this to connected. Make sure this is enabled. And then just change this to RP scan. And then you save it. Now we want to change pads and modify your sticks or your pad. Depending how you have it set up, they have keyboard. If you use keyboard, DualShock. Three, four, Xbox One is right there. I don't know what the heck skateboard is. And then you have your joystick. And I don't know what SDL is. But yeah. Once you select your your handles, right, you're gonna make sure everything's mapped. So you go ahead and click on these buttons to remap your layout. And then you can remap it in game as well. So if you like to have two assists, like if you want to use assist one, uh, your left one and left two, you can do that. Uh, and then end game, I think you can remap it twice, if I'm not mistaken. I can't recall. I'll have to spend a minute. And then once everything is mapped and set up, you're gonna click save. And boom, you're all set. And now the next thing is gonna be you go to configuration again, and this time you're going to go to RPCN. This is where you're going to create your account. And you're going to click account, and you're going to click create account. It's going to ask you to type in a username. You click OK. Then the next thing is going to ask you to enter your password that you want to create for that account. You type in the password and then your email. A token will be sent to your email, guys. So once you uh, get that token go ahead and, and type it in in the box to write it and once that's set up and it's saved you click test account and what's going to happen is it's going to say your account is valid and then on the bottom left or or not bottom left but down there also on your logs it's going to say you're now logged in so now that we're logged in if you 
click friends, these are people that you may encounter online. You can add friends by clicking this and, and typing their usernames. All right, so that's how you can play uh, players and invite them into games as well. So now that we got that all set up, right? Now, again, I do, know, I do not know if I mentioned this, but if you guys wanna run custom mixes, then all you do is go there again to install file, select packages. And then in this case, we're gonna select this mix right here Click yes. Boom. Click OK. And now you can double click. Takes a few minutes. And now we wait. And do keep in mind, uh, it's going to say compiling, it's going to do shaders. It takes the time, let it run its course because it's it's downloading all the files for the first time. So just keep that in mind, guys. And now you can play. Again, if you need to remap your buttons, control, there you go. You can remap it. I think you can do it twice. Yeah, you see, you can have two assists, however you want it. Right now, I don't have my... Uh, R2 map the settings video however you want it smooth crisp your ratio all this changes as before just like the PlayStation and again if you guys it's best to join the discord and ask for games so people can launch the applications so you guys can find lobbies rooms create your lobbies and all that kind of stuff unfortunately there's, you know it's new so there's not a lot of people but once uh people start you, you have to run the application in order for you to see them online you know what I'm saying you have to run the game for the lobby to be available scoreboard is active as well so you guys can play rank match and get yourself on the scoreboard so right now we got a couple of people already okay and there i am number one for now guys um please don't take my spot but yeah and hopefully this will help out guys um again you guys can do what you guys gotta do training test out your, test out your buttons and all that stuff and make sure your sprites are loading Wrong one. And local, you can do the switch glitch, but online, you cannot do the switch glitch. So just keep that in mind. Hopefully, guys, uh, hopefully this helps out. Again, all information will be in the description. If you guys need help, you guys are welcome to comment, and I'll do my best to help out. I will post both Discord uh, for, for more information, such as lobby games and all that kind of stuff, and then my own Discord for upcoming events that I'll be throwing for uh, PlayStation 3 emulator and of course regular console i'll catch you guys on the flip side till next time